down stakes group three and we're nearly ready to run craig is the favorite luke nolan in the saddle shooting for a double and they're ready set at the 1500 Ready and racing. Starter caught them in a great line. Craig jumped about fifth or sixth, but he's going to have to go out to last. Savannah Cloud and Griff inside of him won the start. Desert Lightning holds the fence, keeps the other two away from the rail. Bankmore finds a good spot. Then Magna Spin. Nicolini Vito a little bit deep. Outside of Holy Man's, Craig's in a trick spot on the fence. Communist last of all. Griff held out Savannah Cloud and Desert Lightning takes the drop. One away, Bankmore well positioned outside of Magna Spin from Nicolini Vito. Just a little keen there. Holy Man's going past Craig and a length and a half away. Last of all is Communist. Griff comes off the back. The Caulfield Guineas winner. Leading the way from Savannah Cloud by a neck. Two lengths to Desert lightning the kiwi outside of him bankmore one back magna spin nicolini Vito getting the back of bankmore two links to craig just needing a bit of galloping room with holy man's communist last of all heads turn at the 600 meters mark savannah cloud going up on the outside of griff and they're level pegging desert lightning a length and a half away trying to get away from the inside bankmore on his outside then came further back magna spin nicolini Vito well back holy man's saving ground communist craig last pull to the extreme outside ripping down the center desert lightning sprinted to the front got away by a length and a half running on magna spin craig is rocketing home with bankmore but desert lightning's too far in front craig is absolutely screaming home but desert lightning does it by a length on the line to craig and magna spin bankmore nicolini Vito, holy mans then came communist to cheeky run back in behind those runners savannah cloud and griff last in well, he's acclimatised to his Australian surroundings at his second start. I mean, he ran really well first up, but that was a much improved performance and one that we've come to expect from a horse who was a Group 1 winner in New Zealand, let's be honest. So he's got the class and now he finds himself with a ticket into a Group 1 if he wants it. Yeah, I saw him actually at the Valley when he resumed uh, for his first Australian preparation and he looked great but was carrying a fair bit of condition. A bit short for him on that occasion. This was a really good ride. You can see where Luke Nolan is. He's up on speed. He's just cruising along. He's very patient. Let him work through his gears at the right time. And Craig, unfortunately, was just back amongst a wall of horses and didn't get the opportunity uh, to wind up quick enough to run over the top of Desert Lightning. But it was a convincing performance. Craig didn't um, disgrace himself, but it doesn't do him any ch it doesn't give him any gratification to get into a Turek, so that's the only frustrating part, and for the, his backers as well. He's still only really lightly raced, so there's plenty more before him. That was only his seventh career start. Uh, but yes, uh, he just gets so far back, and he rattles home. He can reel off some really serious sectionals, but he does give himself a job when he's right at the tail or end of the field on the turn. But this horse, well... Is he on his New Zealand form? He thought that he might flatten second up, but the master stroke of Peter Moody and Catherine Coleman working together to program this horse to perfection has worked wonders, and he gets himself a really nice uh, Group 3 win.